What's going on everyone? In today's video, I bring you uh, information about uh, an advertising on Facebook for um, uh, insurance agents, okay? So if you're an uh, insurance agent, right, let's say State Farm or any of those, your own broker insurance, um, and are looking for, and you, you are thinking about running advertising on Facebook, then let me go over this, kind of show you what uh, this person did here and what I will do, right? So, for example, this person over here, Corina, uh, is running a Facebook ad that is about an article, right? And if you notice, it has a link. Um, obviously, this ad probably is more likely sent, be sent to people that is local. And I don't know that. I, I didn't get a screenshot of uh, if this is just being run to be people that are local. I know it's not to customers because I'm not a customer. Um, um, but maybe mostly for people that are local and I know because she is local, right? So one thing that I, you notice over here, right? It's, it's an article, people that might find it interesting, they may click on this link and they will go to this page over here. Now, first thing here, right? So if you're sending people to somewhere, make sure it's somewhere where you are able to, <clears throat> especially if you're paying for advertising, right? Make sure it's somewhere where you are able to track, um, you know, if you are able to track if if this ad is um, potentially uh, bringing me something in return, right? So if you're sending, if you're paying for advertising to take people somewhere, make sure that you're able to track it. And what I mean by that is this person over here is sending to a, this page from State Farm, an article of State Farm. Nothing really that she has control of the traffic because this is State Farm that is controlling this traffic, not her because this is not her website, right? This is uh, State Farm keeping track of, of the traffic that is being sent there. So that's number one, right? There's no, there's no really a way to keep track. And the downside of this, again, is because, okay, yes, you, you're getting exposure. Um, but once people are more interested about the article, they're going to go see the article and they totally forgot about you. They totally are going to forget, okay, where did I see this? Yeah, uh, right? They... Um, uh, if they go and look at it and they go all the way down to the information and, and, and they decide to uh, contact somebody for more information, um, there's nowhere in here that uh, of your information, the person that was advertising that, right? So uh, in that situation, it's kind of like, let's say I go to, I call to your, to your, um, uh, to your office and I ask for some detailed information about something, a policy uh, about coverage on, on something specifically, and then you could be like, okay, uh, let's say I, uh, and let's say I don't, um, let's say then that you be like, okay, I, I will send you some information, right? Let's say you send the information to people um, via mail, right? And and you ask for the address and everything. Once you send that information via mail, there's nowhere in there that has your the sender information. Okay, so let's say you're the one that send the information, and there's nowhere um, in, in the mail that lists your information. Right? How do we get in contact with you if that person has more questions, follow up questions, or is interested in, in talking to you more about the services, or is interested in about getting a policy inquiry? Right? So. Uh, this is a similar situation, right? You're sending people somewhere where they're going to forget completely about, okay, I'm, I'm interested on in this article and I'm interested to get in contact with somebody that may know more about and talk to me more about this. But now at this point, I just depend on agents that are near me or start a quote online or contact somebody online and they totally probably more likely forget about you, right? Unless you know that person. Uh, you probably will remember, but why run, run run that chance, right? It's the same thing that if you're going to, if if somebody contacts you and requests some information and you either um, send that information via mail or uh, deliver in person, but you leave the package there, uh, what are the risks that you're running of you going through all that and not leaving your contact information so that if the person has more questions or they have follow-up or, or they would like to get a policy um, quote, they don't have a way to contact you, then obviously that defeats the purpose, right? So um, that that's number one, right? Make sure you send it somewhere where um, 
where you control the traffic or at least have some visibility of the traffic. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to know everybody that comes here, but at least Google and Facebook will be able to know that. And that's going to help you in different ways. Let me let me tell you why. Let me explain why. So, for example, um, here, I'm, I, ha I send people here whenever I'm making my videos or do, do my advertising. I send people to this page, right? They want to, for example, verify if the customers are able to find them online, right? If they want, would like to see uh, what the customers are seeing online about your business, they come here, they complete the information, and then <clears throat> that information comes to me, and I will create a report to see what is how the business is showing up online, if there's information that is uh, wrong, listed wrong, or, or if there's information that is causing customers to get angry or mad because the information is wrong, or, they go, or they're going to the wrong direction, they're going to the wrong phone number, etc. So this report basically helps show people how the business is listed online um, and, and, and how to fix if there's something, information that is wrong, right? How to fix that information that is wrong so that your business is listed the same way everywhere and it has the correct information and it's accurate so that people don't have uh, problems trying to find you. And so people come here. Now, <coughs> here, if people come here, I am tracking the uh, Facebook is tracking and Google is tracking the visitors. And so the way that's going to help me, it's going to help me understand, okay, how many people are coming over here? How many people are staying here? Uh, what are the, the areas where the people come from? Um, what are the um, the type of income? Uh, what are the interests? Um, and, and so those are some of the, th the benefits, right? Other big benefits, because it's something that I use a lot, is like, okay, people that comes here, right, to this website, they, they they either show interest and they completed the information or they didn't complete the information. You know, many things could happen. Maybe they forgot. Maybe they say, oh, I'll do it later or let me think about it. And so what I'll do is I continue to send uh, advertising to those people. I'm doing something called remarketing, right? So if for some, if for, for some reason they go to another website, let's say they go to pay their bill in Comcast or they, they really need news in some other website, um, th what my marketing is going to do, it's, it's going to allow, it's going to allow me to continue to stay, um, in front of them. Okay. What I mean by that is, um, it's my, uh, my ad will continue to show up, um, uh, because I'm doing what is called remarketing, right? And the way I do that, um, uh, is by using, uh, cookies, what we call them. I'm not sure if you ever experienced something where you're buying something on Amazon or one of these big retailers, Walmart or JCPenney uh, or Macy's, right? You're looking at, at some shoes or you're looking at a, a, a something that you like and then the advertising then continues to come up in, in, in everywhere that you go. So, for example, um, uh, this is an ad, right? And, 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 and that's kind of how it works, right? So, for example, um, some companies that do remarketing, uh, will be will the ad will be following me everywhere if I was in a specific website, um, and they do things correctly. Let's see, if there's another ad that come up over here. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so now it looks like there's no other. Uh, here's the ad again, but I I, I haven't been to this company. Um, they just basically target me. I don't know why, but. Uh, that's kind of what I, the other benefit that I that I wanted to mention, right? You 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 have of why you would like to send people somewhere where you are uh, keeping control of the traffic. Number one, so that uh, you can put at the end, right, that uh, people can contact you if you want to learn more, right. And number two, because you let Google and Facebook. Um, track the traffic, track the people that know, uh, get to learn about the people that comes here and for different reasons, right? Number one, you get to learn the analytics and see who's coming to your website and, and see, uh, uh, get to learn more about the people that could be interested about something like this at this article, right? And number two, because you are able to stay in front of them by doing what is called remarketing. All right, so I hope this information was helpful. If you would like to get in contact with me or have questions related to this topic, that we mentioned, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook, right? Um, you can look for me, facebook.com forward slash Leo Callejas 2. Um, 
Uh, you can kind of see, poke around, look at um, pictures and things that we do in my family. Or you can just come to my website, right, digitaltrack.co, and my contact information is there as well. Uh, digitaltrack.co, my contact information, you'll find it here, email, phone number, that's a cell phone, so you can uh, contact me on my uh, social media channels as well. All right, talk to you later. Bye.